Ooh. Okay. Hopefully this microphone is gonna work. I had the fans going because we're heading to 100 today and the, the sound quality was terrible. I don't, I'm not sure um, what was going on with that. How's everybody doing today? Um, I'm doing really good. I'm really tired, but I'm just all of us with all the goings on here. Um, really just uh, this whole um, ability to, to get raw materials and uh, source, source it has just got me just buzzing with excitement because uh, it's really quite a uh, quite an accomplishment. And I'm not, I'm not saying, oh, yeah, 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 I, it, because there was just, I mean, it was pure luck. It really was. Uh, I went from, but I mean, I, I was just, uh, was kind, I was kind of down in the dumps about it because, uh, you know, you can't, if you don't have wood, you can't make handles. And uh, it became evident, uh, oh boy, um, Early on, when the when the handles started breaking, that that it is all it truly is all about the wood, uh, and uh, I will be, I am presently building a stockpile that I hope will uh, will last for quite a while, and and to keep that whole circle going, uh, I think what's going to be happening is that a kiln is going to be built here, one way or the other. Anyway, I wanted to give you quick tour of the shop and I also wanted to just let you know I just kind of give you a, an overview of this video because there's some time lapse in it and what I'm trying to do is uh, give you an idea more clearly of what's in my head and why it's taking so long to get handles out and uh, you know, like I said last week, I, I'm not in a hurry. I would love to, I'd love to be pumping handles out, but, uh, you know, doing them by hand with the draw knife or even doing them with the big old two by 72, which does definitely speeds things up. It just isn't feasible for even 20 handles. Uh, the repeatability of the duplicator and uh, precision of it is is uh, I think it's going to be a better product. Let's let me pan around the shop a little bit, and I'll kind of take you around uh, of what's going on. And then we'll dive into the time lapse, which actually went a lot quicker than I thought it would. Okay, so. Uh, these cabinets, um, these are the registration counters. All the parts were made for these. Uh, you know, it wasn't make a part, put it together, make a part, put it together. I have cut lists and dimensions. I've done this long enough now that, you know, you, it's a duck on water kind of scenario. Whoops. Uh, so, uh, the first phase is once you get everything made and oriented and, and then you have to mark what it is because some of the parts are very similar and it can get confusing. Uh, so basically you put the furnaces together um, and then I fit the top. What you're going to see is uh, over here to the left, I'm going to have the counter off and uh, the underside right side up and then uh, I have if you see where that caulk gun is over there let me see if I can yeah uh, there's some parts be in front of that ash which is handle material <laughs> his stuff is everywhere it's organized it's pretty darn organized for me it's organized um, these are gonna have these have a like a six inch uh, flip top counter it flips up when it's not being used. We're going to be making the counter here and we're going to be making the flip top here, but the parts are already cut. Um, with the uh, countertop 
there will be some cut to fit on that, but the flip tops are all pre-cut. Um, and, and so that's, that's basically what's gonna happen. Each desk to get to this point, the time lapse that you're gonna see, it's about an hour. But the thing that if you'll notice, I'm, I pretty much don't leave the view of the camera. I am right there on the workpiece. I'm just kind of going in a circle getting things together and, and putting things together. So anyway, that's all about that. The octagon is not doing too bad. Let's see if we can, uh, started the edge work yesterday. Um, but, uh, just trying to stay organized. There's the, uh, the, on the bottom rack, that's, that's the hickory that came back from the kiln and uh, the radial arm saw is holding uh, holding some uh, patterns and uh, more patterns at the end of that. Still working on the duplicator. We have some, uh, all of our ducting and hoses and whatnot came, so that's gotta get put together. So all in all, all in all, all in all, we're not doing too bad. Just trying to stay up with it. Time lapse on the way. Talk to you soon. Well, I hope that I hope that was uh, I hope that made sense. I was kind of disappointed in how fast it was going, and I'm sure there's a way to control that. Um, not sure, but uh, yeah, if, if you know, leave it in the comments. Um, what else? Yeah, let's be kind and happy and um, show that. You know, turn that outward and maybe 
maybe it'll make somebody's day. Maybe it'll, you know, you never know. You just never, never know. Um, all you guys and gals are so supportive and so uh, just, uh, we all support each other. It's such a good, such a good thing. It is a good thing. Uh, you know, I, I'm not a morning person and I have trouble get, getting going, but once I get going, it's just, uh, people are incredible. Absolutely incredible. Uh, yeah. Nick Pixel, thank you very much for all you do. And I hope you get less busy. I know you're super, super busy. Uh, it's great hearing from you. I really, really miss your voice sometimes. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, let's see. Dana Hudson, thank you very much. You're awesome. John, hang on to that woman. <laughs> Yes, yes, uh, we got a logo coming. And uh, I think some shirts are gonna be happening and some stickers, so um, yeah, it's ready or not, here I come. <laughs> so I've gotta get the uh, Boards of Gratitude hung. Um, and uh, hey, if you're new, we, you know, Type up in the comments and uh, let's uh, let's get you on the gratitude board, and because uh, things things are going to heat up. Uh, I don't know if Kyle is going to be cutting the hickory this week because it's just it was hot. It was already like 90 at about 8:30 this morning, and uh, it's so humid. It's just gross. So I don't know if that's going to happen this week. Um, I should be seeing my machinist this week. Maybe not, I don't know. Um, but I will be seeing Sean the Kiln Guy. And uh, I told Kyle, find me some more hickory. So he's on the hunt for more hickory. And uh, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, I did read the comments on the last video and uh, I did take all that to heart. I appreciate um, the suggestions on how to improve things and make things interesting. So, you know, and that and and that's kind of a standing request. You know, I mean, as long as everybody's nice about it, I'm happy to, you know, try something that might put a smile on somebody's face. Uh, so, anyway, uh, have a good day. Have a good rest of your week and uh, more content on the way. Thanks for the new subscribers. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for everybody, uh, all of the original people that subscribed and, and pop in and, and you're just, you're there and it, from the Bucking community. Thank you for your support, old timer. You're awesome. You know, um, I don't have to, you know who you are and you know that it's appreciated. So uh, take care of yourselves, be safe, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.